Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Fezan Khan and on this channel I share Python GUI projects and tutorials. I have already uploaded so many projects and their tutorials here. So you can go through it. So today I will be showing you my latest project which is the hostel management system. This is a complete desktop application built in Python with MySQL database. I have used tkinter to create the graphical user interface. So this is the login page. Okay. If you don't have an account then you need to register. So once you click on it, this is the register page. So you have to fill up the username email and the password okay and then you can register i already have registered so i'll just log in with the same username and the password okay so username is admin and the password is admin123 so it says welcome admin so this is the dashboard page here you can see at the top who log in right and this shows total students that are registered so far total staff total rooms in your hostel occupied rooms available rooms total revenue so far this month's revenue uh, how many students are present today and how many are absent today so today's attendance is not taken yet and rooms full Okay, so two rooms are completely full. Let's go to staff management. So from here you will be able to add a new staff. So provide the username, email address, password and save the staff. Okay, just like I have saved this staff, Iram. Okay, so if you want to reset the password, you can just click on this reset password. What this will do, this will send a new random generated password to the email address that is mentioned here, right? To this email address. If you want to verify, you can go to the email and check. So it says, Dear staff member, your password has been reset successfully. Your new password is this, right? So once you will log in as a staff, you will have to use that same password that you have received on your email. Then if you wish to delete any staff, then simply select it and click on delete, right? After that, we can go to rooms. So here you can manage the rooms, right? So if you want to add a new room, just click on this add room and provide a room number. So as you can see here, room number is mentioned here, right? Then select the type of the room. Is it single, double or triple? Mention the capacity of the room, one, two, three. Okay, then mention the rent and then save room. Just like I have added here, right? So you see uh, room number is this, type is single, capacity is one. So it is occupied by one student and the rent is this, 4,500 rupees. And the status is full. Why full? Because it is occupied, right? Similarly, you can check others. And if you wish to edit any uh, room, just click on this edit and this will populate this data and you can just uh, decrease or increase the price maybe and then update room. Okay, so you see the price is updated. Then if you wish to delete any room, just uh, select any room and click on the delete button. Cannot delete occupied room, so it will uh, not delete the occupied rooms. It will only delete uh, if the rooms are not occupied. Suppose this one, this is not occupied, so this will be deleted. Are you sure you want to delete this room? Yes. Room deleted. Right? Then you can filter by type. So you can filter by if you want to see just single rooms. So you can see like this. Similarly, double rooms. You can see it like, like this. And on refresh, you will see the complete data. 
I hope this is clear then if you go to students so these are already added students right these are already in the hostel if you want to add new student so click on this add new student fill up these details name age gender contact email room number so available rooms will show here so these two are available rooms you can choose whichever you want right and then simply click on save a student once you save a student, you will see that a student's detail here. Okay. Similarly, if you want to edit any uh, student details, so just select the student and click on edit. And this will fill up these details and you can just edit any details and you can update a student. Like this. Okay. Then if you wish to view uh, details, just select the student and click on view details. So this will show it in the new window. Okay. And then if you want to delete any student, just select it and click on delete. Are you sure you want to delete this student? Yes. So a student deleted successfully. Right. Then if you go to payments. So on this page, you will see a student transactions, how much amount they have paid till now. Right. And in this, you will see current month's due summary. Okay, so you will see the rent amount, how much the student has paid, and how much is due. So if you want to check for suppose Arjun Mehta, you will select the person and you will see that he has not paid any amount yet, right? And the due is 3000, right, for this month. So what we can do, we can add payment and we can select the student from here, Arjun Mehta. And once you select this student, you will see that this room is assigned to him and the rent that he needs to pay uh, pay is this much and he hasn't paid any amount. So the due amount is this much, the same amount, right? So what he can do, he can pay partial amount like uh, 1500, right? So once I save this payment, now if I go to uh, Arjun Mehta, right? So you can see that he has paid 1500 on this date, right? And uh, you will see that the rent is 3000. He has paid 1500 and 1500 is now due, right? So uh, in this month only, he should be paying this 1500, okay? So now if I uh, means on some other date, we uh, pay some amount. Uh, so the remaining amount will now show here okay so 1500 is left for this one so 1500 is now showing here okay so he can pay either 1000 okay so basically he is making the payment uh, partially so now if you check only 500 is due okay so this way uh, we can check the transactions and the due payments so due payments you can see it's showing in red color here okay and you can also send due emails to these people okay whose payment is due so once you send due emails the emails will be sent to all these four uh, students okay i hope this is clear and then if you go to attendance section here you can see uh today's date okay and today uh, the attendance is not yet taken so we'll just check if each student is present or not if all are present we'll mark all present like this okay and if anyone is absent just double click and it will just uh, change the status from present to absent like this okay you can check the data for the previous date so 28 just refresh it so you'll see that only Rohit Sharma was absent those were present so I hope this is clear okay then we can go to report section and here you will be able to get the reports and you can do the analysis of the reports so if you want to get uh, all the students reports so just click on it it will ask you where you want to save it so i'll save it on my desktop so the report is generated 
similarly you can generate the room report payment report due summary report attendance report if you click on this attendance report it will ask you the date from which date to which date you want to export the attendance okay suppose if i want to export from 28 to 29 so just click on this export button and i'll just export it on my desktop so this is also exported similarly you can export the room occupancy report occupancy report okay so you can see the student report here so you have the student id name age gender then admission date contact and email right similarly uh, you can view this attendance report and you can do the analysis so you are seeing the student id name uh, then the date and present and absent right i hope this is clear and then if you go back to the dashboard here now you will be able to see the present today and absent today right and then we have this logout button so you can log out from here okay and if you want to log in as a staff so just enter the staff username and the staff password the staff password uh, came to the email right so this is just copy the password and enter it here and log in so you see you are able to log in so the only difference in this one is that you don't have a uh, staff management here okay so the uh, right to manage the staff is only given to the admin okay apart from that everything else uh, you can check uh, you can check the rooms you can add the rooms uh, the students you can add the students right uh, payments you can view the payments you can add the payment you can send due emails right attendance you can manage the attendance and then you can uh, check the reports and do the analysis of the report okay and here you will see iram is logged in as a staff and then if you forget the password just click on this forget password so here you have to enter your email and click on this reset password this will send a new password to this email okay and now we can go and check it you can see dear user your password has been reset successfully your new password is this one right so now we can use the username and the password that we received on the email for login okay so i hope this is clear so yeah that's it i hope you liked it the source code for this project is in the description let me know if you have any doubts thank you for watching